Hi, Donald from Select Driving School here. Um, just a quick video um, to just give people an idea of the sorts of mistakes that might cause you to fail your driving test. Um, so I've just had a look back through uh, recent driving tests um, over the last uh, six months or so um, and picked out my last five fails. And I'm just going to give you a quick explanation as to why each of those candidates was unsuccessful. Uh, in the hope that maybe you could learn from it and avoid the same mistakes. So, here we go. So, first one um, was in Huddersfield and the mistake made was driving up from Ainley Top roundabout uh, in the direction of Rastrick. So going up the stretch where the road um, goes up to a higher speed limit, starting at 50, going up to 60 miles an hour. Um, so we're going up there, we're making a, a good, good uh, decent amount of speed. Uh, but then ahead of us, the traffic was queuing around the uh, under the bridge and around the bend, uh, and it was quite obvious that there was a queue there. Um, unfortunately, the pupil was a little bit slow recognising the, the queue, and uh, when they started to brake, they really weren't braking hard enough, and the examiner had to intervene and apply a lot more pressure to the brake pedal to make sure that we didn't go into the back of the queue. So there we had a, a serious fault uh, for a lack of forward planning, um, and uh, not really reacting quickly enough and recognising that traffic was stationary. Um, there was a further fault on that test as well a bit later on. Uh, again, just going a little bit too quick, this was a meeting situation around the back of the test centre, uh, well, what was, it, what was the test centre at the hotel uh, on Cedar Court. Coming around the back there, there's a little traffic squeeze, um, and as we came up towards that, in, there was a car on the far side of it. Instead of slowing and allowing that car to pass, um, they carried on through and basically made that car slow down. So again, not being as courteous or as observant on a um, meeting situation as it could be, again, a serious fault. Um, then moving on to Halifax, uh, next test that I recall. Um, this one was a single serious fault on the test, but again, that's enough to cause you to fail. And this one was at the bottom of Albert Road in Serby Bridge. So um, if you know that you're going to on Burnley Road, turning left, you go past the Trinity Academy, dropping down quite a steep hill, and at the very bottom is a stop sign. Now, uh, in terms of rules that on the road um, and what will get you a serious fault and, and what won't, um, there's quite a lot sometimes open to interpretation, um, but this is one area where it's black and white. You must stop at the stop line fully. Now on this occasion, um, and I remember talking to them afterwards, um, they thought they had stopped. We went back and had a look at the dash cam footage and sure enough, as the examiner had said, we hadn't quite stopped. We just trickled ever so gently. You know, it wasn't unsafe, but it was illegal because it wasn't a stop. So that was a fail for not stopping at a stop sign uh, response to traffic signs. My advice for stop signs, once you recognise them, they should be easy. Uh, red octagon, it's the only octagonal sign in the highway code. Um, it also has the word in block capital stop written just in front of a thick white line. So there should be no reason to miss it. Uh, my advice is to just concentrate on stopping. Don't try and look early like you would at most junctions, just concentrate on coming to a full stop um, and then you can look and if necessary creep forward as long as you do it safely. Um, next one, um, again, single fault on the, in fact, uh, was it? No, yeah, no, single fault on this test. Um, and this one was just a lapse of concentration, um, probably nerves, but very soon after they left the test centre, they came out, this again is in Halifax, onto Pelham New Road, and then turned right onto Spring Hole Lane, which is the road that goes behind Asda. Um, unfortunately, um, they basically turned on the wrong side of the road. So when they left Pelham New Road, they turned to the keeping the bollards on their left-hand side instead of going around the bollards, keeping them on the right. Um, so... Remember, when you go around an islanded junction, the bollards are there. They will have a blue circle with a white arrow on it, and that white arrow will indicate which side you should pass, and, and obviously you should follow what the arrow says. In this case, he passed the wrong side of the bollards, and that was a serious fault quite early on. Um, again, next one, again in Halifax. Again, another lapse of concentration, um, single fault. 
quite upset thing for this particular candidate, but this was a bus lane infringement. Um, well, not infringement, not using the bus lane when they could have done. So it was a mid-morning test. Remember, in Halifax, all bus lanes are basically around rush hour, so that is either first thing in the morning, so 7.30 till 9.30, or early evening rush hour, it's 4 o'clock till 6 o'clock. So this was mid-morning, um, after 9.30, uh, on Burnley Road, and basically they couldn't decide whether to go in the bus lane or not so they decided to stay out of it and then they drove all the way down Burnley Road from Windle Road Lane to the traffic lights in the right hand lane but around about 30 miles an hour. Um, now had they got up to the speed limit there's a possibility the examiner would have given it as a, a minor although that's not guaranteed um, but because they were going below the speed limit they were creating a traffic jam behind them and the only place those people had to go was to use the bus lane to undertake and that's basically making the road a more hazardous place. So that was a failure for position normal driving, um, where, as I say, they should have uh, got themselves into the bus lane. Um, when it's available to them, you should always use the bus lane unless there's obstructions, meaning that you can't. So remember, bus lanes, first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening. If you're on Halifax tests, that means don't use it at all on the 810 test. On the 907 test, there's a possibility you will be able to use it. Um, but once you get past 9.30, um, and on the half past three, the 1529 test, um, you can use it initially, but once you get past four o'clock, don't use it. Um, and finally, um, failure for, again in Halifax, for making lane changes without checking properly. Um, this one was following signs. Um, they came up to, they'd been asked to follow signs to Keithley, and they came around the, the bus station uh, approaching with the cinema in front of them. They should have been going left, but they got themselves positioned to go to the right, well, they started moving towards the right-hand lane. They didn't fully move into it. They sort of started to straddle, possibly because on the lesson before, we've been talking about the dangers of turning right at that uh, traffic light now, which have been caused by the change in road markings about 18 months ago. Um, so that might have distracted them. But either way, they suddenly realized that they wanted the left lane um, and quickly swapped over to the left lane. Now they did check the blind spot but they did it as they were moving rather than before they moved um, so that picked them up a, a serious fault for trying to swap lanes. So again remember when you're following directions it doesn't matter where they come from whether it's from the signs or from the sat nav or from the examiner if you make a mis navigational mistake um, basically follow it, commit to it as long as you do it correctly, with the correct signal, um, correct observation and safely, you will not pick up a fault for going the wrong way safely. What you will do, as in the case of this t test, was uh, pick up a serious fault if you suddenly try and change your mind without the proper checks, which in the heat of the moment are quite hard to do uh, and to be seen to be done. So that's a quick per se of the last five fails that I've had um, and hopefully you'll find some information in there that's useful. Um, and make sure that you don't do something similar. You'll find some other videos that show actual footage of mistakes that people have made uh, in, in my YouTube channel, so you may want to have a look at those as well. But either way, good luck when your driving test comes along. Um, and hopefully if you like the video, please click like or subscribe to my channel and you'll find lots of other useful information on my YouTube channel and uh, my website. Thank you and goodbye.